Good morning, gang. Happy Friday. We'll see if it's a busy one with SCOTUS dropping decisions like the one I told you about yesterday. But uh, I want to start with this one. I want to get this one off my chest, and it's something that bothers me as a person, a citizen, a prepper, everything. When did we lose the ability to make a decision? I mean, we have a government. The government is supposed to be to protect the country. Yeah, that's what their their mission is. When did we turn into a nanny state where every aspect of our life has to be made you know, every decision in our life about every aspect has to be made by somebody in Washington, D.C., because I guess we're not capable of making the decision. And I mean, this is on both sides, okay? And I will say, some I agree with, some I don't, okay? You know, th that's just typical, okay? So don't get into the left-right paradigm here. I'm talking as a whole. You know, we all of a sudden... None of us can have gasoline cars after such and such a date. Who, really? I mean, the the latest one is, I guess, the government has now decided that Juul, you know, the e-cigarette company, can no longer be in business. Okay, why? Who gave them the right to? Who, you know, and I'll, I'll go into any of this. Who gives, who said the public can or cannot own a gun? Can or cannot have an abortion? Okay. Like I said, both sides. Some I agree with, some I don't. But. Who appointed all these people to make the decisions for us? You'll eat bug burgers. No, I won't. You'll own an electric vehicle. No, I won't. Okay. You know, you're you're only allowed to do this between those hours. And everything is about, oh, but this is for the public good. No. I mean, this, this is the thing. Look at all this. Crazy crap with women's sports going on right now. Somebody tell me how everything that's being pushed by a very minute part of the population is for the public good. Okay. What's next? Are they going to say, you're going to be friends with this person? No, I'm not. You're, I mean, you go back into the Soviet Union. And, I mean, you were told when you were eight or nine years old, you're going to be a dentist. You're going to be a teacher. You're going to be a trash collector. And they decided what you were going to do based on the needs of the country. You didn't have any say in the matter. The military is somewhat like that. Somewhat. Okay. When you join the military, you take the ASVAB, you know, a test, a aptitude test, to determine what jobs you are qualified to do. And then you go to training form. If you fail that training, you are reassigned into another position based on the needs of the military. When you are given your duty assignments, you are given, a, given your assignment based on the needs of the military. However, you volunteered to join the military. Nobody forced you. We don't have a draft. We don't have conscripted soldiers, anything like that. But the public is now being dictated to by 535 people in Washington who are telling us what we can and what we cannot do. And this gets into prepping. One of y'all sent me a email yesterday saying that they got a letter from the USDA wanting to know what animals and what crops they were growing on their property and where. 
on their property. And this is somebody who lives in a suburban neighborhood. Okay, so I'm thinking suburban neighborhood. Chances are you, at best, maybe own a third of an acre. Okay. Oh, in the left-hand corner, I've got corn planted. In the right-hand corner, I've got my rabbits. No. I will have whatever the hell I damn well please, where I want it, as long as it is not interfering with somebody else's life, you can't tell me what to do. All right? Sure, there are plenty of rules and regulations out there that have been chosen by the people that, you know, you don't want strip clubs across the street from elementary schools, okay? The people have decided that. That's fine, okay? And <clears throat> overwhelmingly, you will find support for it. But when you're getting these politicians who suddenly have a God complex <clears throat> and think that they they know better, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, since when the only rules in this country, only ones, are written in the Constitution, okay? That is it. Other than that, anything has to be collectively decided upon and agreed to by the people. And just because Dick Blumenthal got elected to the Senate for the 86th time or whatever, doesn't give him the right to tell the people, in this case of Connecticut, I decided you're doing this, so you're going to do it. No. Okay. Again, we've said this many times. Politicians work for us. We are their boss, not the other way around. But way too many politicians have forgotten that lately. They have decided that they're going to make decisions for us. You know, in a world that has all become about me, 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 you know, the Me Too movement, movement the I want to be... Uh, famous, all this sort of crap. It's all about me. Politicians certainly have, and a lot of people are willing to go along with this, are certainly willing to be told what they can and what they cannot do. I'm sorry. The Constitution says, right to bear arms shall not be un infringed. Period. Okay. To a Supreme Court decision yesterday. Wonderful. All they did was uphold the Constitution. Sorry, people in New York. You're I don't care what Barbara Streisand and Rosie O'Donnell and Whoopi Goldberg say. Screw them. Their you know, brain is completely fried on all the drugs they've taken over, over the years. Okay. But, you know, you don't like it. You've said before, you're going to leave. Get the out. Okay, please do the country a favor. Leave Canada. The, the Canadian government would welcome you, welcome you, not the Canadian people. But th this is where we are, and this is why I keep saying balkanization is coming. The, the, we're too far gone in this country to ever get it back, because the only people whose voice seems to matter anymore are the fringe. I mean, even the gay community is furious about all the crap that the transgender community is doing right now. Okay. You have Jane's Revenge running around, firebombing pregnancy clinics. Is that the overwhelming majority opinion of the United States? Nope. Okay. But this is what's going on and this has got to this has got to stop. And as much as I hate to say it, the only way it's going to stop 
is going to be in a skirmish. Inevitably, we'll see you more today, but that was something that I wanted to talk about. Just, it's been out of my mind. Pinball out.